Broadway's Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark, has been making unwelcome headlines for months. Opening day for this $65 million musical keeps getting postponed, and the technical problems and negative reviews aren't helping. But one thing is for sure, the cast includes some of the most talented young performers around, and joining us to discuss it all are three of them, Jennifer Damiano, who plays MJ Armstrong, TV Carpio, who plays Arachne, and Reeve Carney, Peter Parker himself. Good to have the three of you with us this morning. How are you? So do you get sick and tired uh, of people like me saying, oh, it's got this problem, it's got that problem? I mean, tell me, because everybody has just heard about all the issues and some of the bad reviews. So set the record straight. Why should people come see the show? I'll let each one of you take a turn. Let's start with you. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a beautiful show. Um, and, you know, we're all just getting paid to perform it as best we can. And we try to. But it's hard when, when all those things are coming at you, but you can't uh, let them get to you yeah. or else psych yourself out. Yeah, what do you think, TV? I mean, it's got to be a little bit daunting. Every... I think there's something for everybody. I mean, in the audience, from, like, little kids to, like, 78, I've seen elderly people there, and I don't think... I've never seen anything like this ever. So, um, and after the reviews have come in or people talking all this stuff, I now think twice about what I read or see. Yeah. Um, because I, I, I just disagree. <laughs> Reeve, I mean, let, let me ask you this, uh, Reeve. You, one of the reviews, and, and this, this has got to be tough to read because no one likes to hear bad reviews. I actually don't read anything. The, well, I'll, well, then, I'll, then I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you one. The chief theater critic of the Times says this ranks among the worst musicals in Broadway history. So without naming his name, what would you say to respond to that? Because you're a part of this, front and center. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would say everyone has the right to their opinion. And I guess, if anything, maybe thanks for, I, I'm kind of, in some ways, we, we kind of get a kick out of the negativity just because it, it's, uh, you know, that whole thing, any, any press is good press. It's not entirely true, but you, know, you have to have a good sense of humor yeah. about yourself as well. And we're just trying to make the best show we can. So, yeah. um, you know, it is one person's opinion. And I think the audience reaction is so positive every night that yeah. it's, that's kind of what we're focused on, just trying to please the audience. Is that what you're able to do? Are you able to kind of use this as a little bit of a chip on your shoulder to kind of fuel you to put on the best show possible and also use the response that you get from the audience? Because that's the one thing that I hear. Everybody who walks out of the theater is like, oh my goodness, this was amazing. Every single day is just a new adventure and it's a brand new audience every time. And um, I think we really do truly win them over every single time. Yeah. It's funny because when we come out to sign at, at the stage door, we actually get the complete opposite response, which is, yeah. I can't believe these negative reviews. What, how could they say that this is the worst thing? Yeah. This is the best show I've ever seen. I mean, this is what we hear. I mean, I don't think they would just say that. I yeah. mean, every night after night. Uh, yeah, I think you, you can't really read your own press good or bad. So yeah. I think it's, it's a matter of just as artists and performers, it's our job to just focus on the work and and bring the you know the truthful performance to life and obviously there's a lot of exciting stuff there's a lot of flying going on in the show and a lot of you know yeah. just crazy stuff but it's our job as the actors to bring the emotional truth and that's what we're trying to do the best yeah. we can now normal shows and I'm not by any means saying that this is a normal show because there are lots of theatrics and flying around involved normal shows usually about 30 previews this Sunday you guys will hit 90 yeah. <laughs> which is record setting and that's the crazy. opening they're talking about March 15th and that's been set back and set back so what do you know about the opening? Is March 15th now the, the hard and firm date? That's what we've been told, but you yeah. know what? We were told every time, you know, that we, we kind of, we, we usually read in the newspaper when there's a delay, so we don't know any more than anyone else, but, um, you know, I, that's what I've heard, March yeah. 15th, I certainly hope so. They haven't given you any indication that it may be pushed back even further? No, if anything, they've told us March And the only reason we hope that it's March 15th is that it means we get to stop rehearsing. Yeah. Because, I mean, other than that, it's like, we, we want to make the show the best it can be, so, you know, any amount of time that takes, that's what we're in it for, but it would be nice to have a little bit more free time. Yeah. Do you ever say, uh, when you see the fact that, okay, th th this is so technically daunting, and there have been injuries, Chris Tierney, um, who fell back around Christmas time, um, one of the young ladies who, uh, Mendoza, Miss Mendoza, who has left uh, because she suffered a concussion, do you ever sit back and say, maybe we're being a little too aggressive here and we're pushing the envelope too much, let's scale it back a little bit? You should mention... Uh, Honestly, <laughs> I was, um, in 2007, I was in rent, and I actually suffered a concussion, and the girl who took after my part, she suffered an injury. Uh, not to minimize what, have ha what has happened in our show, but there's no flying in rent, and these things happen and nobody heard about yeah. it. You know, so, again, not minimizing the things that have happened, but there's what we're doing. We are pushing the envelope, and uh, there are risks. Yep. Not minimizing what has happened, but... Um, 
But you like the course. That, you like the course happen. that the show is on, and you wouldn't change anything. No. I guess when you when you talk to the people who have been injured and they feel that way, that that's really who you want to talk to. And I was hanging out with Chris the other night, and he he can't wait to get back into the. I mean, I don't know how. He's he's you know he's a really inspirational guy, but. Yeah. Um, he, he can't wait to get back flying again. He says it's the most fun thing he's ever done in his life. And you guys are going to be on Letterman tonight, right? Looking forward to that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Good. Thank you guys for coming in and being candid about it. And we hope March 15th is the day. Me too. Really? Okay. <laughs> Best of luck. Stay safe. We appreciate it. Reeve, TV, and Jennifer.